Every major university has their own residence halls for students to live on campus, but Purdue's taking that student experience one step further with the introduction of Purdue's brand new First Street Towers. I'm Kyle Cray, and I'm here with Tom Paxalt, the general manager for First Street Towers. So how is First Street Towers different from the other residence halls on campus? What separates First Street Towers is the fact that every room is a single room with private baths for the residents. So explain to me, what's the layout of this building? How is it different from the other residence halls on campus? Well, we have a community center space that has a couple of large lounges, uh, main office, and a conference room. But we really tried to put most of the space up on the floors where the students can have access to it. So a typical floor is laid out with 44 rooms divided into two clusters. Each cluster has a living room, uh, which includes a, a seating area, a kitchenette area, um, and uh, a laundry facility right there on the floor for the residents to use. Now, are there any amenities in First Street Towers that don't exist in the other residence halls? No, really, everything that exists in First Street Towers is available for uh, residents in other buildings. What's unique about First Street is that all the amenities are taken to the floor level. First Street Towers provides a lot of really great opportunities for the residents. It's a great new facility, singles with our own bathroom, and that was really appealing. It, there's a lot of options and it's sort of you're on your own schedule instead of living with a roommate where there's more compromise. I'm not saying that compromise isn't great and that's not a great thing to learn, but since it's all upperclassmen, we've sort of done that. We've had those experiences and this is a good transition into what the, the real world is going to be like. Well, we do a lot of programs just like the other residence halls. Um, we focus on the food. Residents love food. We are an upperclassmen hall, so our focus is a little different. Um, we try to pull residents out of the room to use these clusters um, to watch TV, uh, play games out here. Um, we just, our main focus is to pull them out and to do programs just like all the other halls. Recycling is really big at First Street Towers. We have our own recycling rooms on each floor and even the furniture is being reused from other halls. They just redid Hill and Brand Dining Court and we use their old chairs in our recycling room. And all the furniture here is um, by Indiana companies and um, it's built to last. They're all stain resistant and supposed to last over like 50 years or something even longer than that. So everything's really sustainable and high efficiency. Oh, we also use the high efficiency front loading washing machine. So it uses so much less water and First Street Towers is really going green this year. Now is the concept for First Street Towers, uh, the, the individual living, individual bathrooms, something that's taking hold on a lot of campuses or is this specific to Purdue? We're seeing this as a new trend. We've actually modeled this facility somewhat off of what was built at Penn State and at Stanford in recent years, but we're seeing more and more of this across the country. Now, how was the building funded? Is it through tax dollars or tuition dollars or are the residence halls kind of self-sufficient? The residence halls are, are self-supporting. Everything that we pay and the complete cost of this facility comes from the money we collect from our customers, our residents. Tom, it's been great talking to you. Thank you, Tom. And the students must like the new concept because it filled up within two days of opening. For Boiler Bites, I'm Kyle Cray.